Um, uh, one last final story, shall we? A bit of time for that. Uh, so another day, another literary classic hacked to death uh, by some stupid DJ with a equally as stupid haircut. Greg James, the Radio 1 DJ, and Chris Smith, the BBC Newsreader, they've been criticised for calling Mrs Twit's glass eye, <laughs> quote, disgusting. Uh, Greg later released an apology saying he and Smith were, quote, devastated to have caused offence. Uh, and the Royal National Institute of Blind People have said uh, there's nothing at all revolting about, about uh, prosthetic eyes. We think they are brilliant. I guess all this could have been avoided if we just left Royal Dahl's books alone, right, Justin? Yeah, I mean, where does it end? We're going to give, like, Long John Silver his foot back or, you know, what... I mean, it's, it, I don't think they're saying people with glass eyes are disgusting. The character's disgusting and has a disgusting glass eye. I'm assuming yeah. that means it's, like, not well kept, then I don't know. Is that what it means? Well, could... Yeah, cos Mrs Twit is supposed to be revolting. She's a horrible woman because she's horrible on the inside and she's so horrible she's become horrible on the outside. That is her character description in Roald Dahl's book. And you but they're have... saying that it's offending people that actually have glass eyes. No, I get that, yeah. but my point is, is that you can have, like, think of it like shoes. You can can have a nice pair of shoes and you can have a revolting pair of shoes. Mm. Saying that one person who is a revolting person has a revolting in a glass in eye. A book. Yes. Yeah. Do you know, can I tell you what I think? I would be revolting. Agree with you Look at this I guy mean, here. There's, yeah. there's worse characters out there. How do you know that's a guy? I mean, are you that, assuming? Are that, you assuming that's a guy? That guy, or they them, is an absolute wrong. And look at his beard. He's got food all over his beard. I don't know who he is, but a pair of tweezers wouldn't kill him. Look at them eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> that's the point of the twits. They're supposed to be revolting. And, like, you can have an absolutely beautiful, gorgeous prosthetic eye. It's just descriptive. But you can have a revolt if it's descriptive. Exactly. Hagrid was my point in a child's yeah, book. Hagrid I mean, was I'm huge. more offended by Gollum from Lord of the Rings because they keep going on about the precious. That thing is absolutely. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is, I get that all the time, and it's like it's the most scariest looking thing. But nobody says anything about that thing. Did people do that to you in school? Would they bully you with that? Uh, or college everyone, or whatever? I mean, no. I was a bit later on in life. I wasn't in school, but I was an, as an adult. I get it on social media all the time. She was skiing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She didn't wasn't in school. She was skiing or going was, to Harry. I was in private school. Were you on an international school trip to Zurich? And, uh, <laughs> Probably, yeah. Yeah, OK, all right.